Hey guys, and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest, fastest, cheapest and best way to get the artifact of the clever in the central cave on the island map. Um, so basically, yeah, the all those things mentioned, as well as getting the best sort of, or the most out of a cave run. You'll see what I mean with that very shortly, but first let's go through all of the items we need. So this is what I'm bringing into the cave. Um, don't mind the backpack, that's a mod. You won't have that available on the, in the game by default. So this is what I'm bringing in. I'm bringing a fur armor, because it is cold in the cave. If the armor is better like mine, you probably won't need a full set, but if it's a normal primitive one, I would recommend bringing all of the, you know, the entire armor. Or if you're not quite there yet and don't have a lot of fur, you can also use uh, an otter, which will regulate your temperature when you wear it. Uh, and you can see that as uh, when I wear the otter on me, I'm not freezing anymore. While if I drop it out, um, I'm freezing to death. They regulate your temperature both heat and cold wise. So they give hypo and hyperthermic insulation. So if you don't have a fur coat, uh, because you kind of need to get fur, which you don't really have in the early game, then you can use an otter because they're quite easy to tame if you tame a low level one. Uh, I'm going to bring my otter and I'm going to just put on a suit, uh, a suit, but again, you can pick whatever you, want, you would like. Uh, I'm also bringing some arrows and a crossbow just in case uh, we get dismounted or our mount gets killed. I'm using a crossbow to show you that you can do this while still you know, using pr crossbow as your most powerful weapon. But of course, later in the game, you can bring an actual proper gun where shotgun would be best. Um, and we're also also of course bringing food uh, and water because it might take a little while depending on how many animals are in there uh, I have been in the cave fairly recently so I am it might be a little bit emptier than it should be but we'll see that uh, we'll s figure that out soon uh, before we get into the cave and I'll show you the mount we're gonna use this is where the cave is located um, it's in the center of the map, so these are the coordinates of the area and also where we are at the map right now. The exact coordinates of the cave entrance is 41.5 by 47. And uh, yeah, you can see it is called the central cave as it's located very central in on the map here. It is very easy to spot as there is not like a forest around it, a jungle. Uh, you can see it's open and it has all those rocks around it, kind of highlighting that it's a cave there. Volcano right next to it and the Redwood Forest in the south. So if you look um, from the Redwood Forest up on the volcano, it is on the right side. Uh, another way is to kind of angle it. So you have the Redwood Mountain there, Volcano there, that other mountain, uh, that one there and then north of us we have the snow mountain so it's sort of located roughly in the middle of all those four mountains there but again I think it's pretty easy to spot this one I think it actually is it might be the easiest one to spot due to how open it is around it and how highlighted it is with all those rocks like the entrance is very easy to see um, we're going to use a saber tooth. Now, here's the what I meant with the getting as much as possible out of a run. So you can use a raptor if you don't have a saber tooth yet. Uh, I'm not quite sure when you unlock the saber tooth saddle. Did not mean to open the console panel there. Uh, but if you go in here, saber tooth is unlocked at 37. So if you don't have a saber tooth yet, although it's unlikely that you don't, but still, if you don't, then um, you can obviously use a raptor, although you need to be careful so that you don't get killed so easily, because they don't have as good stats. However, the saber tooth gathers a lot more when you harvest all the bugs and scorpions and spiders and all that. They harvest a lot more chitin, so we're getting attacked. Oh, Jesus, we're getting attacked. I'm gonna fall asleep now, aren't I? Uh, anyways, the saber tooth harvests more chitin and keratin, so uh, and we fell asleep. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish talking, and then I'll be back when I woke up. So the saber tooth harvests more chitin 
than a raptor. So if you have a saber tooth available, I would definitely recommend using that because then you'll get more chitin and you can make cement paste, which is of course very important for the later stages of the game. Uh, plus, actually we might wake up. Um, plus, they're also very easy to tame. Like, taming a raptor and taming a saber tooth is both, I think, pretty much equally as easy. Um, so with that being said, let's jump on our saber tooth and head into the cave. So, outside it's freezing, but the cave has its own sort of climate, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna throw my otter off so that you'll see that it's a bit cold in here. Oh, we're getting attacked already. I don't want my otter to die though. Yeah, you can see the cold icon in the bottom. But I'm wearing my otter, so I don't really need to wear this, although I want some protection, so I'll wear that. So be a little careful with the Onik or the bat when heading into the cave because they do deal uh, or they have a chance of giving you rabies. So another great thing about the Sabretooth is that you can use a crossbow while riding it. So if you don't want to get a chance of getting rabies, then shoot the bats with the crossbow and then fight the rest of the animals with the Sabretooth itself. So again, just to guide you here, just there is really only one way down. You can sort of jump off this rock, that's where we came from, or you can walk down. I t tend to walk because then you won't take any full damage. That way leads to nothing, so don't bother going there. Like, you come out there, but like it doesn't really matter which way you go. Here you will have two different ways, as you can see. So this is the main reason, because this cave is excellent for getting chitin. You can see their mine got a thousand chitin, although it does have pretty good stats, though. Um, so... Yeah. So you have two different ways when you get to this point. One to the right and one to the left. Uh, both lead to the same place, which you'll see uh, very soon. Although, if you go the left one, there is an explorer note. So we're gonna take the left one, plus I think it is actually a bit shorter as well, but the left one has an explorer note on its way, which is why we're gonna take that. Just to show you that you can get the explorer notes this way as well. So I just gotta kill these, and then I'll give you the coordinates for that note. Not that it's really necessary, but I'll do it anyway. It's the Megalodon at 40.9 by 47.3. And then if you head down here, you'll see that you have very, like, a lot of different ways. You can go, well, after we kill all these, I can explain. So yeah, you gotta bring an animal. You might have to stop and heal your dino on your way. So if you don't know how you do that, uh, I'm gonna show you after I kill the scorpion. Um, so if you didn't know, I'm not sure how experienced player you are watching this, but if you force feed your dinosaur raw meat or your carnivore raw meat, you can see that it force feeds or force heal it. It takes a while, but it goes quicker than waiting naturally. You can clearly see that. So that's the speed it goes naturally, and this is the speed it goes while force feeding it meat. If your dino is low level, you want to stop and force, feed, uh, force heal a few times just to sort of, uh, you know, not die. But here you can see there is a bunch of different ways. So we came from there. You have one to your right. And then if you walk a little bit further, you have one to your right and one to your left. But before we get to the, those two, if you go this way, it leads to a dead end. You can see there is a crystal there at the end. But more importantly, there is a note here. It is uh, rock wall number 17 at 40.8 by 47.6. Um, so this is only necessary to go in when you get that note uh, and then if we go here there is a loot drop chance spawning obviously it, it won't be there every time but I'm lucky enough to find it so there is a spider inside the wall here but it looks like it disappeared uh, anyway so we came from here and we have a left or right right leads up and it will lead us back to that area where we had two ways we could go one that led down to that note and the other one just well, goes around and comes down here so that one leads up and that other one leads down. I'm just gonna loot this crate. Ooh, some pretty decent gear. Uh, I have a, a mod called Better Beacons, so you probably won't find that good gear, but I don't know. 
So head down to the left. Um, pretty much no matter what way you get, take here, as long as you go downwards, you will end up in the cave. So here's just a rock sort of pillar in the middle, so it looks like there's two different ways you can go, but... If I kill the scorpion and show you, they meet here. Some metal, if you want to mine that. Uh, and when you get in here, you can see the artifact in the distance, if I go in third person. Um, and here on, you can go uh, right or left. Either one works, really. Um, I'm just going to go the right one, but you can go both. It doesn't really matter. So we're just going to kill these bats. I think the right one is the shortest way. So just go right. You'll come to a little waterfall or water dripping from the ceiling and a pond. Try not to fall in there because it might be a bit difficult getting up. Just gonna kill these bats. Just walk around it here. Fight these spiders. And there you can see the artifact on your right. Um, although you want to head... If you come to this pillar, you want to... I think... I don't think it really matters. No, it doesn't matter. Um, so just walk to the artifact. It's sort of located on this small stretch of land with water on either side and also make sure you clear out the surrounding cave before you jump off and take it so that you don't get backstabbed while being dismounted from your mount because that's might end up in death so make sure you kill everything first I'm actually getting hot because I'm wearing that thing so that's the artifact, although if you walk up on the side you should see these pillars and there is the Araneo at 39.6 by 45.8. I leveled up my character and I'll put it into... Hmm, that's a good question. I'll put some more weight in. Um, yeah, so the artifact right here and then you have the pillars right, you should see those pretty easily. And I'm not, yeah, that one is just trying to eat some food. Um, so the artifact is located at 39.5 by 45.9. I hope I said 39, I, I feel like I said 49, anyways. I meant 39 anyway. It's the artifact of the clever, so let's just take that. And then jump on our dino get back up here and then you can run out uh, I can just show you what ha uh, what's on the left oh quickly um, to just show you the rest of the cave uh, behind here you can obviously walk behind here you might meet some creatures that'll spit and deal damage to your armor the centipedes will do that so I would recommend trying to kill them in long range I have a maxed out crossbow so it deals a lot of damage but obviously yours wouldn't deal that much. But the reason you would head down here is that you might find a loot drop. So I would recommend checking this space just in case there is a loot drop. And this is where the artifact is located. So dung beetle if you want to tame that. And get fertilizer. So we came that way. But I'll show you the other way just to kind of show you what the cave looked like I guess. So we came from there when we walk down but this is the other way down so just walk you can see now that you get you kind of just walk around the water this is I think the only place to get up you can see where we almost fell down earlier also when you attack the centipede you can see that it a percentage of your damage is dealt back so if you attack it, you will take uh, damage back. You walk up and you will end just kind of fight more creatures. This isn't necessary if you don't care about like harvesting all the animals here and searching the whole cave, then you should take the same way back so you can avoid fighting all those extra creatures on this way. 
But now, if we go up to the right here, we're back at this like split section that we came from. So we went that way when we came down, and now we arrived from that. So again, it is really easy to navigate this cave. Uh, because it's so open. So now we can head up. You can take whichever one. They meet right here. Here. Let's just head upwards. Then we are in this area where we have that note. Uh, I can just show you again, just to show you the whole cave, if we head to the left this time. As you can see, there really isn't much here. Just a bat. Who's scared of me. You can see that road is significantly longer, or that path is significantly longer than that one. So now we are at this section so we went down there you can see the ruin is much shorter than that one and that one doesn't have anything except possibly a, a, a loot drop I'm not quite sure actually and then we get back so you can take either one of these because they meet right here and head back up and we're outside the cave that's it for this video if you did find that one helpful, then please like and subscribe. I have a subscriber goal, a very ambitious uh, ambitious subscriber goal for 100 subscribers by the end of the month as we are already at 35 and it's just the start of January. So if you do want to help me reach that goal, then I would be more than happy and just hit that subscribe button for me. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like my content. Although, if you do like ARK and you do like help and finding good ways to do stuff, then this channel is definitely worth watching, as I will upload a lot more content in the future. Um, and also comment something if you want to. Comment ideas of what I can do. I'm not quite sure. I'm doing the currently like the artifacts, but in the future I can do other stuff as well. And next time I will do the Artifact of the Cunning. So stay tuned for that. See you later. Bye.